Hi there, I'm Patrick. Now we gotta, you gotta come in with more speed. I think we missed the X too, did we? No, I'm right on top of the X, bro. That X. was perfect. I don't think I could say that any better. And don't, don't, uh, don't turn. I'm telling you, that was, that was perfect. That was perfect, but you can't turn because I won't be able to skid into you. Can you skid this way? We can. We'll, we'll do it both ways. You can't. I think you're telling me that you no, can't I, skid, I can skid this skid way. That way. Shut up. <laughs> you can't skid that way. I can, I'm Just, really, I've been skidding my whole life. Can show you how it's done? I'm Patrick. Whoa. <laughs> you, you broke into like. <gasps> okay. I'm telling you, you got to turn into. All right, we'll turn, we'll turn into the skid because I don't think I can stop that quick. That's what I'm telling you. Hi there, I'm Patrick. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Benedict. Together, we are, we are Cool Team! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright, welcome to Cool Kitchen. I'm here, um, I'm gonna be uh, making a, a family tradition, a family favorite. Uh, called bonsai, and right now I, uh, my good friend Patrick, has tuberculosis apparently, a cough for about a week and a month and a half. So I've uh, diagnosed it as tuberculosis. And smell it up here. <laughs> <laughs> we got rosemary. Okay, that's not something else that's going to give you the chills there. Okay, when your body is making that, you know, when everything tightens up and your your butthole can crack a walnut. Okay, that's how you know it's working. All right, over here in the uh, man corner, got a toaster and a blender. That's all you need in the kitchen. Three horsepower. Okay. A little whiff. Oh yeah, yeah. That's already uh, that's already uh, triggering the gag reflex. Okay. I personally never get sick. I'm not sick right now. Okay, but friends don't let friends bonsai alone. Okay, is that right, Patrick? That's I would true. not let you do this alone. All right, so that's uh, that's, Ooh, that's pretty thick. Chunky, a little chunky. Now uh, another rule of bonsai is. You want to make sure that you're in a place that you can lay down in yeah, immediately afterwards. If you don't, if you take this shot of bonsai and you don't lay down immediately, you're gonna pass out. Boom, bonsai. Boom. All right, here we go. Ready? Boom, bonsai. Bonsai. Hey, talk about our relationship. Uh, our relationship between one another is very special. Non-sexually, you know, we're, we're gonna we're non-sexual life mates. Non-sexual life mates. We're talking about living in an alfalfa patch in the woods, feeding rabbits, and raising them. I spent a good part of my life looking at Patrick's rear end. Let's hear about your relationship with woman. Oh, very tender. Very tender relationship. She lets me do whatever I want regarding trips, traveling, the lunatics I choose to hang out with, <laughs> and she likes you. Yeah. Good mom. Pretty lucky. She does that to her all the time. I tell her she's lucky. We don't want fancy cars. We don't want fancy cars. I don't want anything fancy, really. I just want to buy more bicycles. Bicycles and property. Cam property and camping, land. more camping gear. Remote remote land and high-end high end gear. There's one thing that I've always wanted to buy with money. That was a Civil War replica cannon that I'd have enough property to fire at will. So that's pretty much your only, that's well, your only That's a big expense. That, yeah, it's not a, you know, you're, you really, you're, you're going to fire that on special occasions, or would you fire that routinely? Like every day? I fire it at noon every day. At noon every day, so... But, um... Basically, uh, until your money ran out... Greenwich Standard would, Time, noon. There would be cannon fire every day at noon. Greenwich Standard Time. Okay. I like that. Tell me about your job. 
What do you do for a living? I'm a shipping manager for a uh, small uh, group of shops, high -end. stores, high-end shoppes. Yeah, you look like looks like that's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> this job's perfect because it allows me time to travel whenever I want, mm -hmm. except for Christmas. Uh, and um, yeah, I just uh, manage the back end. I basically do online orders, bill. So that's basically what you're supposed to be doing right now. That's pretty much where I'm supposed to be right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shipping, shipping and receiving coach. That's great, that's great. I did a brief stint as a PE teacher. Yeah, okay. coach, you were almost. That's a PE why. That, that's why. That's why uh, Patrick calls me coach. Um, I'm also the coach for the cycling team. You are. Yeah. Um, and uh, something about Patrick. Well, yeah, I should answer the question first, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump into this. Something about Patrick and I is that, you know, uh, we're basically as far as careers go, we're we're. We're nobodies, you know, total, yeah. total nobodies. Don't care about careers. Don't care about careers, but the I, the ironic thing is that we have, in Austin, not really here, <laughs> we have doc doctors, lawyers, CEOs, CEOs, you know, multinational corporations, architects. architects. I could go on and on about these guys on our cycling team who look up to Patrick as, and I as golden gods. <laughs> Yeah, we, this is typical. I mean, we turn the screws. The captains turn the screws. The captains turn the screws. That's tradition. Every camp, Patrick and I put it out on the front. We lay it all out. Yeah. We kind of set. We kind of set the mood for the rest of the season. Yeah. These guys are sucking hind teeth. That's right. No, they're, we're, 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 they call Very us their envious life, of yeah. the lifestyle we lead. They call us their life coaches, and we hand out a lot of a uh, lot of free information. We need to start charging. Uh, for. <sighs> Really, the only job I've ever really held was uh, <laughs> was from working for my father as a uh, as a first mate on a fishing boat, and uh, I'm uh, retired now. Um, kind of just you know waiting for what's next in life. I want to you know just get out there, and you know for me, life is the journey, not the destination. That's you know? right. And uh, that's a good philosophy. That's a good philosophy, I think, and I've I've been abiding by it for a long time. And I put out the positive vibes, and they come back to me. All right. Um, what other questions me about my relations, I guess? Are I, you in I, a relationship currently? I am not in a relationship currently. Haven't been for about three years. Okay. Uh, I like, I've I, uh, been really uh, getting out there, living life, and it's been good. I've had a really good last three years as a single man. But, uh, you know, most of my life I've been single, really. It hasn't been a big change for me. Yeah, um, yeah that's true. Yeah. What about your family life, your parents? Uh, I'm very, very close to both of my parents. <clears throat> of course, my dad's my boss. But we get along great, you know. People, on, you know, we work on a, we work in very tight quarters on a fishing boat, and uh, and we never raise our voices to each other. And he just and, raises uh, it. He raises it. that at other people quite often. <laughs> <laughs> and I like to say that really, I'm probably, you know, I'm my dad's only only real real friend, only real person he trusts. That's the thing. He won't trust anybody, and he always thinks someone's trying to go behind his back and uh, steal his fishing spots or you know talk shit on or whatever. So he just. He just gives them both barrels, as he says. Yeah. And so, but with me, we have a great, great relationship. I feel very fortunate about that. And, uh, and my mom is my uh, is my hero. She's uh, she's pretty yeah. awesome. She's a pretty awesome woman. Yeah. I mean, she's into some cool shit. You know, every pretty much everything that I do today, I, I owe to her. You know, she's uh, she's really shown me yeah. adventure. You know, food and just love. All right. I think that's it. That's it. We're signing out. Signing out. Sick. We got six miles of crashing to do. <laughs>